Today I'm going to be going over keyword match types in Google Ads. So there's three different keyword match types that you can use when you're running search campaigns. Number one is broad match, number two is phrase match, and number three is exact match. There's no real order for the keyword match types, but they are different in the way that they perform and the way that they're going to make your campaign perform. So broad match keywords get, give advertisers the most volume, but the least overall relevancy. Phrase match keywords are going to give advertisers a balance of volume and relevancy, and exact match keywords are going to give advertisers the least volume and the most relevancy. When I talk about relevancy, it basically means how relevant your keywords are going to be to the search term people are entering when your ads are going to be triggered. So for broad match keywords, I generally recommend them more for large advertisers. You absolutely need to be using conversion tracking and smart bidding to find success with broad match keywords because what you're trying to do is find specific search terms that are going to be more likely to convert for your campaign. Now, phrase match keywords, I think, are a good match type for most advertisers, and they can be really good for new campaigns because you can test, but you also don't have to worry about too many irrelevant search terms. You're not going to have to have a, a negative keyword list of thousands and thousands of keywords. And while the, there will be irrelevant search terms in your search terms report, it does give you access to a, a few more other types of keywords that you may not be targeting with exact match keywords. So exact match keywords are gonna keep things really tight and targeted, and they could be a great option for advertisers as well. I recommend exact match keywords a lot of times um, because what they're good for is they're for advertisers who wanna focus on specific search terms. So let's look at a few examples over here. Uh, first and foremost, the example directly from Google Ads. So this is the keyword match types example from the Google Ads help page. And if we're targeting the keyword furniture store, so let's just say we target it as a broad match keyword. You're going to see that the two different search terms that may trigger our advertisements, home decor and cream colored leather sectional. Now those aren't overly relevant to furniture store, but the reason that broad match will actually trigger ads for these specific searches is because it's for ads that may show on searches that relate to your keyword. And you're going to see here, this is comprehensive matching. So basically anything that is, is even closely relevant to the keyword that you're targeting, your ad may show for that specific keyword. Now phrase match, this is why I like phrase match, looking at some of the examples here. For the keyword furniture store, uh, your ads may show on searches that include the meaning of your keyword. Cheap furniture stores, living room furniture deals, what store is the best place to find a bedroom dresser? So these three are definitely much more relevant to the keyword furniture store, and it gives you access to a few more searches that may end up leading to conversions that are still relevant to what, what your actual targeted keyword is. Now, last but not least, exact match again. Ads may show on searches that are the same meaning as your keyword. So basically, you're targeting the keyword furniture store. It may show up for furniture store, home furnishing shop. So these are very, very relevant keywords. The main thing with exact match, phrase match, and broad match is you tend to have higher costs in terms of cost per click for exact match keywords. However, it can be worth it if you don't have that many irrelevant search terms. So there is a balance in trying to find the right match type that actually gives you the best overall results. So if you're entering these keywords and you're trying to target these keywords in your campaign, I'll open Google ads in a minute, but I have a just a quick screenshot here. So when you're creating a brand new ad group in your search campaign, you're going to see the ad group type is going to be standard. So you can either choose standard or dynamic. With dynamic, you don't do any keyword targeting. The targeting is just based on your landing pages or on your product categories. Now, as far as a standard ad group, this is where you're still targeting keywords. So you name your ad group and then you target your keywords. A broad match keywords has no, no annotations, no anything around it. A phrase match keyword has quotes around it and an exact match keyword has brackets around it. So you want to enter your keywords like that to make sure you're using the, the match type that you actually want to use within your ad group. Now down here, I have a note, and this is really important. You should only target one keyword match type per ad group. I just did this as an example, but when I'm targeting keywords, I don't put all three keyword match types. Basically broad match is going to mostly take precedence anyway, because the way broad match works is it matches so many different search terms that if you have a broad match keyword within your ad group, that is going to be the keyword that's getting the most activity. Now I actually did a test uh, where I targeted three different keyword match types. I did them in separate ad groups and I, I ran them at different times just so I can see what some of the search terms that came up were. And if we come over here, you can see some of those examples. So these are search terms for different keyword match types. So broad match, farmhouse curtains, phrase match, we have farmhouse curtains with the quotes around it and exact match, we have it with brackets around it. You'll see with the exact match keywords, these were all the different keywords that were matched. So very, very relevant keywords. Phrase match, also very relevant. It gives you a little bit more in terms of synonyms. So country home curtains, 
blue farmhouse curtains, shabby chic farmhouse curtains, country style curtains. So you're going to see a few different things in the phrase match that are still relevant, but aren't exactly what we're targeting. And then in broad match, we had all sorts of different search terms come in. So curtains, Canada, barn door curtains, country curtains, catalog, drop cloth curtains, gray pattern curtains. So broad match are still relevant, but as you can see, it's not quite as relevant as the other two and exact match gives you the most relevant search terms. So now we're going to come over here in our Google ads account, just so I can show you a few different examples. So when you are creating a brand new ad group, you click on the plus sign to create your new ad group. And this is where you enter your keywords that you're going to be targeting. So when you're setting up your ad group, you want to know what exactly you're targeting. So let's just use our example here. Let's say I want to create a new ad group for, we'll use Montessori placemats. So we're going to come over here and we're going to copy the link address. And what you can do is you can enter here in the keywords, you can enter a URL. So we can enter our URL here, and then we could also enter our products, our services, basically what we're actually tar going to be targeting here. Um, and then what you want to do is name your ad group because you always want your ad groups to be themed. So where are you sending your traffic to? We're sending it to our Montessori placemats landing page. So we're going to use that to find keywords and we can get keyword suggestions. So this is an easy way to get keyword suggestions for your campaign. And we're going to get all sorts of different keyword suggestions here. Now, as you can see here, these are all very relevant keywords. And the, the thing to keep in mind is if you, for example, you just want to target a broad match keyword of Montessori placemats, this keyword right here will absolutely match every single one of these search terms in addition to probably hundreds of other search terms that even feature placemats or Montessori. Now, what I would target for this specific campaign is a phrase match keyword because I want to keep things targeted and I want to make sure it's still geared towards Montessori and still geared towards placemats. So I would target a phrase match keyword for this example. And with a phrase match keyword, that would make sure that we're targeting pretty much all of these search terms as well. So all of these will match this specific phrase match uh, keyword here. So if you're worried about, okay, I want to make sure that I'm targeting all these search terms. This is where I do like phrase match because it will target all these different search terms. Now, if you want to use exact match keywords, what I would recommend doing is taking some of these keywords out and saying, okay, Montessori placemat will target this as an exact match keyword. Placemat Montessori and Montessori placemat are considered the same exact keyword in Google's eyes. So you don't need to worry about the ordering of the words. Basically, you're looking at the overall search intent. Um, so anything that's plural, uh, slight misspellings, things like that, you don't have to target all these keywords separately. Google is smart enough to know that if somebody goes on and they, they type in Montessori placemat, it's still going to target your keyword. You don't need to target the misspellings of Montessori or placemat to make sure that your ads are going to show. But what you could do is you can target an exact match keyword like this one, and then you can do something like Montessori placemat silicone. Uh, maybe this one we'll get rid of. So again, a space in between the words. Again, you don't have to target these separately. Um, silicone Montessori placemat don't have to target separately. So you could target these different keywords as exact match keywords. So this is the other option that you would have when you're targeting. Now, in terms of a phrase match keyword, if I had like an endless budget and I was the biggest Montessori toy provider, and let's just say my budget is million dollars a year, then yeah, it's a little bit easier to say, okay, let's target broad match keywords. We'll get a really good negative keyword strategy, and then we can focus on adding negative keywords to our campaign. What I would do is either this, where you're targeting these different exact match keywords, or what I would do is I would just target one keyword in this ad group, keep things really simple, and just and this is probably what I would do, is just target the keyword Montessori placemats. Because then when I'm targeting other types of pages on my website, play gyms, play kitchens, busy boards, blocks, bath toys, balance boards, math toys, all of these different ad groups I can create, I would just target one keyword in each ad group, a phrase match keyword that basically matches exactly the page title of the page that we're sending traffic to. Because then I know that, okay, we're giving people a really good experience where somebody goes into Google, they search for Montessori balance boards, they see my ad for Montessori balance boards, they go to my landing page where there's Montessori balance boards for sale. That's ultimately what you're trying to accomplish with Google ads is creating that seamless experience where you can give people exactly what they're looking for with your keyword match type. If we start targeting broad match keywords, it's not going to be as targeted. So the way I would set this up is just like this. 
So we have Montessori placemats. We have our one keyword here. This keyword will match all those different search terms. So we'll get plenty of search volume from one phrase match keyword. Then you click on save and continue, create your ads, make sure your ads match the actual keyword that you're targeting and make sure that you're using your final URL. Uh, so we're sending people to our Montessori placemats landing page so they can shop all the different Montessori placemats we have for sale. So that is how I look at keyword match types. And what you don't want to do is come into your ad group here. Now, this campaign I use for tutorials. I'm actually going to create a new campaign and run it for a little bit. Um, but what you could see here is I have Montessori bath toys, broad match, phrase match, exact match. So what you could do is do some tests and say, okay, for a week, we're going to run broad match keywords. For a week, we're going to run phrase match keywords. For a week, we're going to run exact match keywords and see how your campaign performs. Now, I would bet that it probably performs best with an exact match keyword for a week. Um, so one of these two are most likely going to give you the best performance. Broad match is definitely more of a long-term keyword match type where you need to focus on, okay, we're going to take our search, our keywords here, look at our search terms, and then we need to constantly add negative keywords to make sure that we're removing anything that is not relevant to what we're actually targeting. So hopefully that all makes sense. Um, this is how I approach keyword match types. I've gone over dynamic search ads recently where you don't target keywords at all. I still generally target keywords. Just think it gives you more control as you're setting up your campaign. And if I'm setting up a campaign trying to sell Montessori toys, what I would do is take every single one of these different subcategories and set them all up as different ad groups. Um, so within those ad groups targeting, really, you just need to target one phrase match keyword. Montessori blocks will target pretty much any variation of people searching for Montessori blocks, wooden blocks, stacking blocks, whatever it may be. So that's why you can use phrase match keywords and why I recommend using phrase match keywords a lot of times. So finishing off the video over here, um, you're going to see just some of the different ways that your uh, search terms may trigger advertisements. So broad match, this is why I kind of stay away from it slightly. Um, it's for it's really for large advertisers. So if you're a large advertiser, um, you're, you're still going to match when somebody's typing in furniture store, but it's also going to match all of these other different search terms. So if you're like, I want to spend $10,000 a day on Google ads, then broad match is the way to go. Because with broad match, you're at least going to be targeting all of these different keywords. And then over time, you're going to find which search terms are actually driving your results. Now, exact match could be a great option when you're getting started because it's less optimization for you. You could basically say, okay, I want to target these exact keywords, the main keywords that we're trying to target here. And we want to maximize clicks from these specific keywords, these specific search terms. Phrase match gives you somewhere in between. Uh, so that's kind of how I look at match types. If you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.